What's up YouTube, to Prof. YouTube here, and now we're going to talk about the linear transformation from polynomials of order 1 to polynomials of order 2, as you can see here on screen. I'm very excited about this. I've done this in Spanish, but I this is going to be challenging me, for me in English. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this exercise. So, first of all, we need we, have, we find this base 1, which is going to be... Uh, f equals x plus 1 and f2 equals 3 and we already vectorized this the way you see on screen on red and you know you got b2 b2 which is the second base it's gonna be g1 x squared plus 1 and as you can see we vectorize it the way it is in blue here on the screen and we already have this transformation matrix which is going to help us to find the linear transformation of f1 on base 2 we need to find the linear transformation of f2 on base 2 and we finally need to find the linear transformation of f on a canonical base which is going to be the transformation of the of x on a canonical base and there is a couple things we need to remember when we're going to go through them go for him and, uh, and explain him as we work on the exercise so we need to find first we need to find the linear transformation of f1 on base 2 and as you can see we use the first vector of the transformation matrix and these numbers are going to be the constant of a linear combination uh, when we uh, transform these ve transform these vectors so 1 times 101 which is the first vector of uh, base 2 3 times 0 1 0 and 0 times 1 0 0 we're, we're gonna get zeros here at the end so okay now we make this linear combination and we find that the first value is 1 now 1 times 0 plus 3 times 1 that's gonna be 3 because this is gonna be 0 right 1 times 1 that's 1 time plus 0 plus 0 as you can see and we found we finally found the linear transformation of f1 on base 2 this is all there is to it this is very simple very simple now we need to find the linear transformation of f2 on base 2 also so for this we're gonna take the second vector of the transformation matrix and we're gonna use them as we did before uh, as the constant of the linear combination of base 2 so first of all we take 2 and we multiply it by the first vector which is 1 0 1 plus 0 we're gonna get zeros here plus 1 times 1 0 0 which is the last vector of base 2 and we do the same thing we did before 2 times 1 plus 0 plus 1 that's gonna be 3 but let's put it just like this 2 plus 1 then we get 0 for the second row and the third row it's gonna give us a 2 so this is <coughs> sorry about that the linear transformation the linear transformation of F2 on base 2 3 0 oh, 2 we're gonna put it just gonna clean this up a little okay so the exercise asks us to find the linear transformation of x which is going to be actually this, the linear transformation of x I said x twice I'm sorry about that the linear transformation of x f which is going to be the linear transformation of x and we will see about that and we need for this we need to find first a vector on base 1 then we're going to multiply it by the uh, transformation matrix as you can see here you know a times uh, vector on base 1 and we're gonna get the linear transformation on base 2 right but since this is not what we're looking for we're gonna turn this linear transformation base 2 on a canonical base that's gonna give us a little bit of trouble here <laughs> this is gonna be a little long but don't worry this is actually very easy so first we need to find the vector on base 1 let's find it then so let's call it x y right and we're gonna use uh, base 1 and of course we're gonna need to find some uh, some constants which we're gonna call a and b and that's gonna be the result of this x y vector on base 1 and as you can see here we 
find this equation, the first equation, x equals a plus 3b, and y equals a plus 0. So there you go. You get that y is equals to a. Now, we need to find the next value for the constant. We need to find b. So we're going to substitute y, uh, um, y for a, and we're going to solve for b. So as you can see, we get x minus y over 3, x minus y over 3, that's the value of b. And there we got it. There we have it. Sorry about that. <laughs> There's, there we have it. <laughs> that's uh, the linear transformation. Uh, this is the vector on base 1. So this is y. And for b, we get x minus y over 3. Yes. There we go. Let me write this, this down for you. There we go. This is the vector we're looking for. Now, for the next step, we need to multiply the uh, transformation matrix for the vector we just found. And here it is. We're going to get linear transformation on base 2. So we place the transformation matrix, as you can imagine, and then we uh, place the vector we just found, which is y. And the other coordinate that's x minus y over 3 and we, we do this multiplication right here to find the linear transformation on base 2 so 1 times 1 times y it's equals y plus 2 times x minus y over 3 that's 2x minus 2y over 3 that's for the first row for the second row we're gonna get only 3y because 0 times x minus y over 3 that's gonna be 0 so no problem about that. 0 times y is equal 0 plus 1 times x minus y over 3. There you go. Now this is just very easy math for you guys. So we multiply 3 times y and, and take 2y and we get y plus 2x. I think, uh, okay. Yes, and 3y and x minus y over 3. And that is the linear transformation of x on base 2. Here we have it. But this is not what we're looking for. We're going to clean this up a little. Yes. And we're going to put it over there. Right in the right corner. There we go. Let's clean this up. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so it's in red. And we're going to find this linear transformation but in a canonical base. So for that we need uh, to use base 2. Okay, so the linear transformation of x. Okay, this fits better. It's okay. So y plus x over 3 times the vector of base 2. Yes, and we play the vectors in, in the second row. In the second row, it's going to be 3y times 0, 1, 0, which is the second vector of the b base b2 base and the final value that's y minus x over 3 times the last vector of base 2 so we do the same this is just a linear combination so y plus 2x over 3 times 1 that's gonna be y plus 2x over 3 and 3y times 0 that's 0 and this is y, and this is y minus x over 3 There we go. Now this value times zero, that's zero. This is three y, and the other one is gonna be zero too. No problem with that. Multiply this by one, and the rest is a zero, a big zero on the second and third linear combination here. We add them up, and we get two y. Yes, over three, of course. Two y plus one plus one x. Of course, plus x as you as you prefer. 3y and just uh, the one just like that. We're just gonna write it down. And here we have it: <coughs> the linear transformation of x on a canonical base. Okay, so we need to find this on the shape of a tf transformation of f of any f polynomials of order one. So we're gonna replace this x for 
A and Y for B, just not to get mixed up, you know. This this is just this is nothing, right? I'm just gonna replace X and Y for A and B. So this is gonna give us the answer for any polynomial of, of that order, as I can tell you, as I told you. So one times 3y plus x over 3, that's going to be 2b plus a over 3, plus x times 3b plus x2, you know, b plus 2a over 3. And this is the linear transformation of x, a and b being any constants on the polynomial a x squared plus bx plus c and there we have it this is it show your love please drop a like and subscribe if you like this see you next time